this is a case of a 78 year old male patient who presented with severe abdominal pain, constipation and unable to pass flators. CT scan was done. As we can see there is significant dilatation of the bowels. Next is to find the obstruction, the level of or the obstruction. Uh, we start from the anorectal region, here it is, and let's track up the large bowel. At this point, just track my uh, arrow you can see that the large bowel is collapsed at this point and then we can see a significant dilatation of the sigmoid colon Here it is. All right. In coronal views, you can see the typical reversed U shape of the sigmoid colon. This is the typical sign of uh, the sigmoid volvulus. And let's track the images and I will show you the point of the obstruction. Let's go down. This is the sigmoid colon. Let's go down. This is feces. Just follow my arrow and if you can see there is the twist, the whirling the whirlpool sign here exactly just look at this region okay once again the whirlpool sign exactly here The twisting point causing the obstruction. There is some reactive fat stranding around the twisting point. Some of the mesenteric vessels are involved, as you can see. However, there are no other significant findings. And the rest of the large bowel is, of course, dilated. This is the terminal ileum, the ileocecal valve. By the way, uh, an easy way to find the ileocecal valve is to see this uh, fat, which is usually present in the ileocecal valve. Is a very nice example. Dear friends, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my next presentation. See you the next time.